This is the Fenwick Sports Podcast. Welcome to another edition of the Fenwick Sports Podcast. And today I'm going to be giving you my game day week 16 review on this Saturday of the Indianapolis coach at the Cardinals. Indianapolis comes to the game 8-6, and six, having beat the uh, Red Hot Patriots, who were on a seven-game win streak, 27-17 last week. Uh, Cardinals are losers of their last two by a combined score of 25 points. Uh, margin of victory for the opponent has been 12.5 points against them this year. Kyler Murray is one TD to three INTs in the last two games, which they have dropped. Um, Key facts for this game for the coach is going to have to be Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor is going to have to carry that game, carry this team as he's done all season. Carson Wentz has had a phenomenal season. We'll get to his stats here in a minute. But Jonathan Taylor is 1,518 yards rushing on the season and 17 touchdowns rushing. Uh, Jonathan Taylor is going to get over 20 touchdowns this year, folks. Something we haven't really seen since the early 2000s when you had LT, Dane Thomas, and uh, Larry Johnson, uh, Sean Alexander, Prius Holmes, uh, you know, uh, that brother out of... Uh, a brother for the New York Jets. I can't remember his name um, at this time. But Jonathan Taylor's on another level. He is on another level. And I know Derrick Henry's out. But Jonathan Taylor is 482 yards away from breaking 2,000 yards on the season. And with this extra game for the season, I do believe that he can, in fact, eclipse that. He needs to have 160.6 rushing yards over the next three games. His next three opponents, including in the Arizona Cardinals, are all 20th or worst in the league as far as rush defense goes. The Cardinals are allowing 112 rushing yards per game. Derek, uh, not Derek Henry, but John Taylor, I think he'll break that. I think he'll get over 112 yards rushing this this uh, this week uh, in this game today. In Evans Coast has a team come in averaging 28.4 points a game. Cardinals are giving up 25 and a half. If I'm Vance Joseph right now, I'm saying to myself, I'm telling my defense, Hey, guys, today is the day we shut down that workhorse back in Jonathan Taylor. We will not. I repeat, we will not allow Jonathan Taylor to beat us. We're going to force Carson Wentz to beat us throwing the ball. Carson Wentz had a quiet season, guys. Quietly impressive season. Going 3,000 yards, 3,005 yards passing, 23 TDs, 6 INTs. Now, how's he going unnoticed? He's in the AFC with Pat Mahomes, who is the measure stick for all the quarterbacks 26 years and younger. Or that are now named Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, <laughs> right? Um, and he also plays in the same uh, conference with Josh Allen, who got snubbed, by the way, by Lamar Jackson. But hey, that's another conversation for another day. Keep going. Vance Joseph. Vance Joseph's defense has got to get together, guys. I mean, you gave up 30 points last week to the Dallas, Dallas guy, to the Detroit Lions, 30 to 12. Your last two games, You've dropped by combined points of 25. 25 combined points you've lost. 12 and a half points has been the average margin of victory. I do not expect it to be any different. I do believe the coach is going to win this, this ball game right around the score. Final score in my prediction, 34 to 20. Kyler Murray, over his last two games, which they have dropped, has gone one TD to three INTs. No D-hop. I know he's got A.J. Green, but A.J. Green, he's, he's, he's washed. A.J. Green is washed. A.J. Green is washed, folks. It is what it is. I don't want to hear it from nobody. He's washed. James Conner has been banged up. He's having a good season. He's got 14 TDs rushing on the season. I mean, <laughs> Pittsburgh is looking really ridiculous letting him go. But at the same time, they do got a promising running back. And uh, Najee Harris, who is on my fantasy team, by the way. Um, and I do uh, advise you guys picking him up next year. Barring he doesn't get hurt. Uh, between now and start of next uh, 2023's or 2022's NFL season Ronda Moore question before this game uh, some type of injury on the injury report I saw today uh, 5 foot 7 quick slot receiver uh, good uh, uh, rack receiver run after catch um, I expect him to play Christian Kirk needs to step it up because that in that coach defense is very physical extremely physical the the uh, Cardinals are 44 percent, really 45 percent, 44.8, 45 percent on third down conversion. I think that's going to have to be a key factor in this game as far as them being able to stay in the ball game and win this ball game. Coach are allowing 39 uh, percent third down conversions. The Cardinals also average 255 yards passing in this game. Coach defense is giving up 234 yards passing per game. I, I just, I do not. I know what the statistics, the statistics say. 
um, that the Cardinals passing attack is actually rather it, it, it favors them. But people, Mike Eberflus, the defensive coordinator for the Colts, best believe he's going to tell Darius Leonard, you stick to Colin Murray like two pace on rice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're going to stick to that man. You're going to play the spy. We're going to keep contained. We're going to rush three from time to time. Let me tell you something. None of those receivers for the Cardinals can be any man, defensive player, defensive back, and man covered. So I think I think the coach is going to have their way with the uh, Cardinals this week. Um, now, big injury for the uh, our key missing player this week for the Indianapolis coach, and that's Quentin Nelson. He's the top guard in the NFL. Uh, by, by my by my um, just in my humble opinion, my estimation, he's out because he's on the you know what list. That's going to be a huge loss uh, in this game. I think Vance Joseph will try to expose that um, that middle of that defense, that soft spot, uh, middle of that uh, of that of that O, o- line, and attack Carson Wentz like that. But I do believe that coach come out of this game victorious. Final score: thirty four, Cardinals twenty one. That's my thoughts for today's game review, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all know what time it is. I'm out. Perfect.